it was great meeting you or we've already met and you have some questions about the new patient generator implant funnel and these are the top FAQs that were asked by dentists who are looking for a proven system to help increase their hourly chair revenue. That's all we talk about is increasing your hourly chair revenue through the acquisition of higher value cases. And, um, you know, really in 2022, it's smaller, relatively new practice in Ottawa, closed more implant and full arch cases than some big practices do in a decade. And really since 2016, this has also happened in Toronto, Vancouver, California, New Zealand, Singapore, Australia, pretty much anywhere people were missing teeth, right? So, this video is designed to answer your first question, how do they do this, all right? How do these practices, uh, you know, drive new implant patients to their practice and not the 70 that are located beside you, all right? Um, so this is a proven system that's really designed to drive patients who need to eat steak and apples again. That's your mindset, okay? You're helping people eat steak and apples again, whether they're a current denture patient or they're a patient that underwent some recent trauma um, and need an implant, you need to help them eat steak and apples again. So um, a lot of the folks, and I just mentioned, you know, that had these types of questions, you know, Dr. Greg, you know, Dr. Cohen, um, you know, Dr. Lee, Jonathan, you know, Dr. Opri, um, you know, Irhan, a lot of folks that had these questions prior, um, you know, really they came number one, because they wanted more implant full arch and cosmetic patients. And that's why you're here. Okay. But this is not for everyone in this. Okay. So number one, you understand basic advertising rules and reach. Okay. I'm not here to convince you what the value behind advertising and being in front of new people in your local market is. Okay. You understand how to convert new inquiries. Referrals don't count in this system. You know the math behind new patient inquiries and what they're worth, and don't think that $21,700 cases come overnight, all right? So, and what I mean by referrals don't count is someone else did not sell the case for you for the last year, like your other implant current referrals at the moment, all right? So, last two, you want a different approach to getting new patients the next dentist across the street won't use because, quite frankly, we won't set it up for them. And you're open to changing your mindset to increase your hourly chair time through the acquisition of high value cases, implants, all in fours, full arches, and so on. Okay. So how does this system consistently generate new patients? Step one, we educate your patients using video guides, content, and targeting across a display network. We use educational marketing. It's really important. All right. So I'm going to show you a blueprint that you've probably seen before in some of our other videos, and it's really important to go through each step. Okay, so I'm going to take you through a, a, just a very quick overview of this, of this blueprint. Number one, these are the ads. We use primarily Google Display, all right? Number two, we take them to a number of different landing pages or variants depending on their gender, depending on their income level, depending on where they are and what market we're in, okay? That's number two. Number three, is after they've taken an action here on one of our guides or education, we then take them to a further emotional qualification stage, okay, which is then where they're emotionally committing. At that point, they're either going to, yes, we're going to call them right away and book them in, okay, so that's where this part comes in, or if they say no, they're going to go into a further qualification campaign, all right, which then leads to a calendar booking and so on and so forth. The steps that we're talking about here right now um, are the first step, which is, again, we talked about your, you know, your advertising. And in our case, we use display to specific landing pages that are designed to educate your patient to then research mode. So if they say no here, that's what the ends for. Um, it means that you are going to then a percentage of them are going to go and research you here. Right. And then they're going to click to call. And if you've seen some of the other videos, you know, the relationship between Google Maps and you know, and service-based businesses, all right? So the outcome of the educational approach is 60 plus patients monthly giving you their phone number, email, and name for an appointment. And this is the outcome, all right? So you're going to see this is just a standard, you know, export from one of the tools we, we use, which we're going to be getting into in a minute. We tell you everything. Um, and this is sort of just, a, you know, an export of the amount of folks that will apply, you know, in some days it's multiple folks that are applying for an implant consultation or a cosmetic level consultation. And as you can see here, um, you know, this is a practice in Ottawa, right? That can get these types of patients that come in regularly and fill out this form in the third step that I showed you. This is the emotional qualification step. The emotional qualification step, 
is answering a number of questions that are designed to incite an emotion, obviously, right? And that emotion is what's going to keep them from going into the next three practices, right? It's, it's having them come to you because you ask them those questions and you care about them and you're showing empathy. Number one, the system is driven by empathy, all right? So these types of questions are what are answered. And in many cases, you now have the GM of a medium-sized company, um, you know, who needs new implants because obviously he's in front of clients on a daily basis. So we put your brand and your practice in major news publications, apps, etc., anywhere people are, right? And this happens every single day. It's consistent and predictable, right? You saw this export. It's consistent. It's daily. It happens every single day. Now, we use other tools like Active Campaign, et cetera, to retarget your patients after they've opted into your education. And that is the part in this blueprint that I showed you, which is here, which is after, regardless of what they do, once they're in the automation, they go through a further education um, to help them prepare for their consultation or book that consultation, okay? So we use educational advertising in step one. Placements and targeting is really important. We target 55 plus year olds who are in certain neighborhoods that um, are looking for this type of surgery. We're in major news publications where people might get their teeth knocked out if you're a hockey player and you're reading ESPN, for, for instance. YouTube TV, if you're researching a specific type of implant or you've just lost your teeth and you're figuring out what to do. And again, we target 55 plus year olds. Um, and again, a range of folks in that 40 to 55 range that would have an emergency, right? So. This positions you as the authority. So here's some of the tools we use, right? Google Display, Unbounce, ClickFunnels. Love Russell Brunson. Been using him since day one, but also love Unbounce and, you know, the other tools. Everyone has their pros and cons. Um, and, you know, we use Wufu, Native Forms, um, integrated with that that we've developed. Uh, CallRail, ActiveCampaign, Dentiza, okay? Video, we use Movavi, depending on the type of video. Uh, obviously, YouTube and so on. Chat, we used in Tiza and Connect the Doc and Patient Relationship Management, right? So there's a lot of tools that go into the back end. And if we look at step two, well, we take them to your educational pages from the initial ad in step one, okay? So step two is about positioning you as the authority after you've educated them. And that's here, okay? So you're positioning yourself as the authority to get to the emotional qualification step. And that's really important, okay? So step two is the difference between getting somebody to apply and not. So this positions you as the authority, right? And we only give them one option, depending on the page, depending on the gender, depending on who they are and where they live, okay? And through that, we're using either guides, video, and positioning your practice um, as competent. And on average, 2,000 plus people will land on your pages and research you. So out of that, approximately 50 to 100 will give you their name, email, and phone number. This is depending on market um, with the intent of getting implant help. So if you're in an extremely high populated market, you will get more than 100. If you're in a smaller, medium-sized market, um, you'll be in that 50 to 100 range, okay? And we've seen some places in, you know, um, the corner of the world with very small population receive in the hundreds per month. So it depends on where you are and um, your market. With a percentage also going to research you because they've also discovered you and you've seen the relationship between maps calls and being out there and actually playing google's game right which is spending money on their ad network number one um, and so if we look at uh, a sample of this step two right and what the average sort of you know as we just talked about on average two thousand people will land on your page okay so out of 1,200, or sorry, 1,200, 1.2 million impressions, so appearances in various publications across markets um, at an average cost per click in display of 70 cents in this particular campaign um, between November 1st and 30th, this, you know, 2022, uh, an average spend of 1,500 to get 96 phone number emails and people saying I'm potentially interested in getting an implant. So, um, that's a pretty high conversion rate. 4.41 actually smashes the industry conversion rate in, which is generally about 0.75. So this is a very good friend and client 
um, Claudia, and actually you'll be hearing from her as well um, in part of our support groups and, and some of the educational groups that we run. Um, but she runs um, her ads, and as you can see here, it's a very high conversion rate and loves doing implants. And Dr. Corey Rubinoff um, also loves doing implants. And so um, the math, really, for a practice who's been advertising for, say, over five years, right? Claudia's been advertising for about three, three-plus years. Um, the math for practice, and this is just one of many variants and landing page options. If we look at Seven Day Dental, um, they've been running this for close to five years. You know, 66,000 visitors across their multiple pages, right? And this is one particular variant. Um, you know, and 94,000 views and 3,500 people have now know who they are versus not. And they have close to a 5.2 conversion rate over a four-year period. It's, it's, it's massive. And this is one of the tools that we use. Unbounce, and this is their, their dashboard. So just a quick question to you. What is that volume over five years worth to you? More time with family, right? So again, when we're looking at these numbers, which is the question, how does it work, right? Well, we go out in step one and two, and as you can see here for Lakeside, um, again, $1,500, about 92 plus conversions, 3.76 conversion rate, um, and again, 63 cents, so much lower cost per click than what you'll be used to paying in, say, search um, or other types of, um, to get this type of visibility. For instance, in search, if this is a $4 click and you just quickly did the math on 2,400 people landing on your page, you're paying a lot more than $1,500 to get that visibility, okay? So hopefully that answers a few questions there in terms of what it costs. We'll look at one more, uh, quick numbers, all right? So again, it can vary in different markets. You know, July, $1,500 and 42 conversions on this spend at 2%, right? So again, it varies, 81 cents, um, 1,800 clicks. But if this was $5 in that market, for a full arch click, just like personal injury lawyers and Google knows again what you're going to ch what you what you do and what they'll charge, um, you know at 1,800 clicks, what's that worth at um, six dollars a click, right? So let's take you to step three. Give them a reason to take action and answer questions to emotionally commit. That's really important, and that was a step three. That was the form that I showed you where we capture and we convert the email, phone number, and either a quiz or a qualification form. So this is another example of one of the qualification forms. As you can see, uh, you know, would you like to apply for your consultation? Um, and, you know, they have multiple loss of teeth and a partial denture and they never got used to it. So actually, this turned into a case that required, I believe, in, uh, about five implants. And um, at that point, this person was a four-month sales cycle and they needed five implants. And... They got their five implants and found them initially through a, a you know authority-based publication while they were researching, um, you know, uh, after post after hockey. And they're 65 years old and they were still playing hockey. And so this was you know again another example of a person who was in the hospital, and now they're trying to get them out as per the hospital's request, and they're not picky and they're looking for someone that can help and someone that can call them back right away. Right, and again, that turned into a case um, that progressed within a two and a half month period. So, people are going to find you and see you, um, and you have to be in the right place at the right time with the right message. Right. So, what are the natural consequences from appearing consistently across major publications daily? Well, the natural consequence is more phone calls through your Google Maps profile because you're a service-based business. You're similar to a restaurant. You still have a menu and you have people calling you right away because they have a need that day, right? And so it's really important to realize. And so we look here and we've seen in past videos, right, what the relationship between ad impressions and calls are because you're pre-framed. So if you look at your views in Google here uh, in 2019 and the number of phone calls, and you look at after, you know, December, so let's just look at two months, so, you know, December as well, so 143, pretty consistent, right? And so no matter what, by not doing anything, you're still going to get some calls. And this is, by the way, a little bit of a busier practice and a different example because they are very good at what they do and they've been around for a long time. But a newer practice, this number is more like 20 or 15, all right? So this is before doing anything, but this is after. This is in November 2021, 260 phone calls. 
You're appearing, you know, quarter million times in your local market. Your views on Google have gone up, okay? The natural consequence is you get more phone calls, right? December 2021, 210 phone calls. So, you know, on average, 50 or 60 more phone calls are going to come in because people now know who you are. And there's lots of people, over 2,000 people landing on your landing page. So at that point, it just becomes a statistic. Want to take one more look at November 2022, so another month, 1.6 million impressions, 8,200 views on Google, and 275 phone calls. So there's a direct relationship between the amount of phone calls, and this was just last month in December, at 319 phone calls, right? So... The natural consequences are you do get more phone calls naturally because people now know who you are and that's just simple logic. So how much does it cost? That's generally about when we get to cost. So to advertise in the display network, you're generally in around $50 to $100 a day, again, depending on your market. Some spend more and we don't charge you for that. So we're not going to spend more um, for you to spend more on your own advertising. Um, we have a flat rate. And that generally, again, varies by market and exclusivity. And um, again, we don't charge you any more or less than that. So that's, that's really how it works. It's very simple. So what's the ROI? Well, simple math, right? 50 inquiries generally per month um, times 12 months, about 600 inquiries. And say your average case is about 6,000 on a single implant uh, case, right? Well, you need to close approximately four of the 600 potential opportunities annually to cover your costs. And this is being very conservative because we're out there also trying to attract the patients who need multiple implants, um, you know, or need um, more complex and, you know, multiple, uh, you know, crowns and so on and so forth, more cosmetic level work done. So really out of 600 potential opportunities, even if you needed 10 of those to convert, this also doesn't include the extra patients who called in direct from Google Maps, Bing, and didn't take an action on the ad, or your included tracking number that we use to make sure that the calls are being answered and dealt with appropriately. It also doesn't include the three people they told over their lifetime that also came to see you thanks to being in the right place at the right time with the right message. If that isn't possible, this system isn't for you, okay? So that's just very clear. We need folks who understand the mindset behind increasing their hourly chair revenue. And that comes from dealing with patients who haven't necessarily been sold by someone else for you, but you've been positioned as the authority and you understand how to take them through the various stages of implant case acceptance. Okay, so number, like, well, 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 we don't know what the actual question number is here, but what's the catch? And that's a lot of folks watch, what's the catch? Um, you have to be prepared to deal with new patients, right? Who haven't been referred and sold by someone else. It's a process. Do you make me sign a lifetime contract? No contract. So there's no catch. We don't need you to sign a year contract. We're confident in the system. It works. If you don't like it, you can leave and you don't have to use it anymore. But once you see that type of volume coming in, it's very difficult to turn that system off. And that's why a lot of our Oh, not a lot, all of our clients are under a monthly only and no contract because they believe in the system and they've been using the system for years. You saw the proof. And there's no work required by you to set it up. We set up all guides, videos, ads, landing pages, everything. We make sure it works every month. Calls are generated direct to your practice and tracked using tools like CallRail, Dentiza, and so on. And we support you and coach you to help understand the big case mindset. Okay, so will we work with your direct competition? We don't solicit or work with anyone in your media radius, but for full exclusivity, right? If you need exclusivity and you don't want us to work with anyone in your particular city or area, ask us for details. We build this for your brand and practice, not ours. So we don't become your competitor in this market. There is nothing the built for us. It's all revolving around you and positioning you. To help my staff figure this out, well, we teach you and guide your staff through our network of mentors and pros, and we have a lot of them. Um, and a lot of them are experienced entrepreneurs that also turn into your friends. Um, and so we always built our business on spending as much time as we can explaining and educating um, and also helping with things that aren't directly related to the system, which is things like case acceptance, things like 
using tools and technology to make sure that you can close and get more deposits in your practice, right? And so just some of the folks that we love and we work with that are also well-known and do lots of work in the industry, you know, Jonathan Varoche, brilliant, brilliant individual, um, you know, does an absolute ton of implants, full arch cases and dentures, and is partnered with Dr. Greg Olivieri and others, um, you know, to do that. Dr. Chuck Lee, um, down in California, you know, 700 plus calls a month into his practice. Again, large practice, 25 people answering the phone, but it's not about size, right? It's, you know, Claudia, Markham Dental, Dr. Michael Cohen, um, brilliant individuals, um, love every one of them. They're all great people and they're all really smart, okay? And so really, we've been working with them for a while. And so is, you know, the next natural question really is, is the system new? Are you experienced? Do other people use this system, you know, um, well, we've loved implants for the last seven years and it shows. You just saw the proof. We've been running this for a number of years and people are spending this type of money and they're investing monthly in their advertising to get these types of numbers. So again, we showed you this earlier, which was, you know, 3,500 conversions over the, this amount of period. And, you know, you know, he's been running it for about seven years. Google goes back a little ways when the ad account gets set up, but for about, you know, say five years, he's been running it now. Um, and you know, on average, why would he, why would he be spending this if he wasn't getting the calls and the conversions and the amount of visibility his practice gets is, is crazy. Um, and so you don't get these numbers in California off search advertising. Right on 160 bucks a day, that that's gone in, in you know, can be 30 or 40 clicks. Um, this is Jonathan Varoche, right? And you know, over the year in just 2022, right? He had over you know 700, 800 conversions at an average conversion rate of 1.5, which again, you know, double the industry conversion rate. Um, and what's that worth to your practice, right? What's that visibility and what are these conversions worth to your practice? People have been using this for years. This isn't a test, okay? This is not something where we're going to use your practice as a guinea pig. So why would anyone keep this spend if it didn't work? Well, they know the math to retirement. You can be large, small, or medium size. You decide the spend. Again, when we look at seven day and what they've spent and, and what they invest into how many views in Google they get in a very highly populated, extremely competitive market in Anaheim, 700 plus phone calls, um, you know, compared to practices, you know, just next to them who are maybe getting 30, right? And we've showed you that in past videos, right? Where they're, they're not too far, they're 30 minutes away and they're getting 30 phone calls compared to 700. There's a big difference, right? Niagara Falls, our good friend, Dr. Greg Oliveri, gets about 170 phone calls a month, right? In November, 2022, smaller market, 170 phone calls. Some of his neighbors are getting 20, right? So the reality is thousands of patients across hundreds of practices have applied for implant and full arch using the system. And it doesn't matter how big or small your practice is, you just have to want to do more implants and cosmetic work, okay? Everybody wants to do more implants and cosmetic work. So do something different this year, raise your chair value, apply to learn more, increased hourly chair revenue means more time spent outside your practice. So go to thatsmilingdentist.com forward slash strategy session, and we'll be happy to get together with you. And I might even meet with you directly. Looking forward to speaking with you soon.